Fear stops a man from being successful. That's why Magellan Fatalino is determined in pushing himself to his maximum potential. Good morning, Mag uh, Magellan. Good morning, Rebecca. What an inter interesting name. Ah. <laughs> uh, how you get that name? Well, it started when I was in college and uh, my friends, because I speak Spanish, so my friends would tell me, Oi, Magellan, what can I Spaniel, Spaniel, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Then my response would always be, Magellan? Magellan is Portuguese. He's yeah. not even Spanish. And then for some reason it stopped and it's quite close to my real name, which is Mario Jordan. So I combined Magellan quite close. And then throughout my college years up to my professional career, everybody just called me Magellan. Well, share with us your childhood. I come from a middle class family. And growing up, you see all of these things around you now. Like, I, we have relatives who are rich, and I also have relatives who are on the opposite side, who are very poor. And there is always that feeling of uh, being smaller than other people. Nah, hey, I can't stay like this. I have to do something to progress, to become a better version of myself. Mm -hmm. And that has always been my motivation to want to always become a better version of myself. A better version of Magellan than before. Conquering that insecurity. Yes, that is the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who helped you? Yeah. I think in, in your journey in life, you cannot deal with problems alone. Yes. And I learned that the hard way. I tried to keep everything inside. Okay. To the point that I almost, you break down it. You will oh. break down if you oh. do that. And you realize that if you just open up a little bit, okay. try to share your problems uh -huh. with mentors, okay. your problems with people who has been there, okay. and with friends, yes. you will attract the solutions. Who taught you to be open up? Like sometimes we don't know what we're doing or mm -hmm. what we don't know why we feel that way. I think experience, as I mentioned, is your best teacher in life. Uh, I have a lot of failures, and I'm not ashamed of that. What really fueled me is to see disappointment in the eyes of my parents. That was a big fear. So, that, and in fact, that's my biggest fear. I don't want them to look into my eyes and tell me I'm disappointed. Because? Because I want them to be proud. I'm sure your parents, yeah, they are your driver, mm -hmm. but there's something you said mentioned about mentoring. Who really, real? Uh, what is the real mentoring to you? I used to be uh, the communications officer of Senator Pantilalas. That office taught me to be disciplined. Because coming out of school, Diva, you have this youthful energy. Now. You just wanna, you feel wild. Eh? You wanna, there's so much energy that you wanna release. Because that's how guys are. Exactly. But that office taught me to. And I truly value that from San I appreciate that. I consider him as one of my, one of the biggest people that impacted me. After working for the Senate, uh, I worked for our family business. My mentor here is my aunt, who is Jenna. Okay. Jenna founded the company, and he taught she taught me a lot of things about business and about dealing with failure. That's where I learned that failure isn't so bad after all. In fact, it teaches you everything. It makes you a better man, a better person. One of my investors, JJ Attention, he taught me to be strong and firm. Uh, that, that if you have a vision, you go for it. You don't fear. Because I think what stops a man from becoming successful is fear. And if you can just take out that fear away, you can do it. So how you overcome all those uh, fear or struggles? I, I know you're fam familiar with this quote. Sabi don, usually people are just three steps away from succeeding. Mm -hmm. But it's in that moment that is very painful. It's very, very difficult. If you would only just take that three steps, you are you will see by it. Unfortunate people stop when they're three steps away. So it, all you have to do 
is to have a strong will when you get to that point. You just push a little harder. Keep going. You know, keep going and then you will see the end of the tunnel. You see kids right now totally different. They're so advanced, no patience. Like go, 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 exactly. as you mentioned, right? So what's your best advice to them? You can go fast, but make sure you calculate. I think one good advice is if you're really aggressive, make sure you're eight steps ahead of everybody else. Because if you cannot foresee where you're going and you just keep taking one, uh, these steps fast, you will, lose, you will lose your direction. Always be eight steps ahead of everyone. What do you really, your biggest dream that you want to achieve? Like for example, in my current business, I'm helping MSMEs in the Philippines and hopefully later on across the globe. And it may not be simple, but I just want to have a mark in this world before my life ends. A big mark. I want to be in the lines of Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, in my own way. Why you wanted to create that mark? It's, it's my source of fulfillment. When I know, even if I'm gone, people will remember me for doing a great positive impact for the world. What do you think uh, us Filipinos should do to create an impactful meaning or making our country first world? I think our education system should be molded in a way that it produces people who are hungry and who are driven for impact to do something, even a small project that has impact to our country. So what's your best advice for either the young or Filipino, anywhere in the world, to really create an impactful things for our country? Always do things out of love. And if they feel how genuine you are, how passionate you are, that you are going for something out of love, they will support you. And that's where you get a reputable name for yourself. Stay genuine. Stay true to what you do. That's a very nice message. Thank you very much, Mijula. <laughs> That's a very nice message. Sir. Thanks for that. Every success has its struggles. Every dream has its trials and tests. Listen to their stories. Because if they did it, you can also be called self-made. Thank you.